like how, especially in the last couple years, you know, not mm-hmm. that you obviously, and this is something, it's not like, I know you well enough that you weren't like, Oh, COVID now let's start focusing on this. This is like, but <laughs> especially the last couple of years, like, what does that look like? What, what do you mean by that? When you yeah. consider that? Well, I love that you just mentioned real quick. So what, what I'm doing now is not that much different than what I was doing. Mm. You know, the, so here's the fun fact. Six years, three before the pandemic, three technically in the pandemic, right? So that perspective, I think, is I reflect on that constantly. Before the pandemic started, I'd already talked to my staff about, um, you know, dare I say this because some some will roll their eyes, but self care, right? And 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 I said this, and it's not a buzzword. It's not a buzzword on my campus. It truly means something. And I've been very adamant of, and it means something different to every single one. Mm -hmm. My self-care is not your self-care, right? And, And so forth. So I always encourage myself, whatever it is, whatever brings you that peace, whatever calms you down, whatever de stresses and you know, how you decompress, do that. Mm -hmm. intentionally and as often as you can. So we were already operating in that manner. I had, I would put out Google forms. I got this idea from a colleague and it's just like a check-in, like, hey, how are things going on a scale of one to 10? Here's where I'm at. This is something that I'm super proud of. I went, you know, and my staff be like, I went jogging for the first time and you know, this, no, great, awesome. So I was constantly checking in with them. I was modeling that myself. I was, you know, I know you've got a wonderful fitness journey, but mm-hmm. I was on a fitness journey. I was doing, you know, going to the gym and, and really working on my eating habits and, and modeling that piece. And I always yeah. said family first. So when my older two weren't on my campus and they had a field trip, I would take a day off and go on the field trip with them. Cause I'm a mom first. Mm-hmm. And I would have staff say, wow, you really get it. Like, thank you for modeling that. I don't feel guilty now because I'm taking care of my mother who's sick and I have to take a day. I'm like, no, why Why do we make teachers feel guilty for taking care of their own? I just yeah. don't understand that. But so all of that continued with like a hyper intensity in the past two right. years, right? right? I mean, we literally just hit our two year anniversary of we left school one day, never knowing we were coming back to that in that manner, the rest of the school year. Um, Mm -hmm. So those Google forms, um, those first couple of weeks of the pandemic shutdown, when we weren't in our buildings, we were on Zoom with our students. I was sending a weekly Google form, like, what do you need help with right now? What technology can we support you with? Like, what are you doing for yourself? Um, And, you know, and getting that feedback. Now, here's the trick to those, though, when you get those responses, you got to respond back. Um, And I think that's where some administrators stop. They're just getting all that. No, this teacher just poured their heart and soul out. If I don't acknowledge that, what am I telling them? What's the value of them sharing that with me? So, you know, in that sense, that psychological safety, I think is really important. And I, and I hope, and I, feel like I provided that for them. 